everybody, welcome to this week's kids lesson. I'm Pastor Lizzie and I'm so glad to see you here. Hey, just a reminder, if you don't have your Bible sitting right next to you, this is a great chance to pause the video and you wanna run and grab it because we are going to dive right in to this week's Bible verse. So go ahead, do you have it? Great, okay. Let's go ahead and get started. You can flip your Bibles open to the book of John. And John is in the New Testament. He was one of Jesus' disciples. Um, so as soon as you grab it, John chapter 15. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to throw it up on the screen and we're going to jump right in. And you can repeat after me. Say, I'm... Pastor Lizzie! Oh, my hey, goodness. Pastor Lizzie, it's me, oh. Toby Maybe Keith! <laughs> I didn't think you were coming. I know, I surprise attacked you. You did, you scared <laughs> me a little bit too. Sorry. Oh my goodness. Wow, well, it's great to see you, Toby. Yeah, good to see you too, Pastor Lizzie. <laughs> hey, I was just telling the kids at home, we're opening up the Bible and we are jumping right into Whoa. the Bible verse for this we're week. We're jumping on our Bibles? That not... sounds fun! <laughs> no, we're not <laughs> jumping on our Bibles. It's just an expression we're jumping oh, into. Okay. Like we're, we're about to start. We're going to look start. at what the Bible verse for this week is. Gotcha. Yes. Okay. So does that sound good? That sounds perfect. Okay, Pastor great. Lizzie. So we're going to see this up here on the screen. The Bible verse is from John chapter 15. So okay. Toby, can you repeat after me? Sure. Okay. Say, I am the vine. I am the vine. You are the branches. You are the branches. If you remain joined to me. If you remain joined to me. And I to you. You, and I to you, you will bear a lot of fruit. You will bear a lot of fruit. John 15, 5. John 15, 5. Awesome. That wow. was great. So in this verse, it's kind of an interesting verse. Talking right. about vines and branches. Branches and now, bears. Uh, you, wait, bears? Yeah. Bears and fruit at the very end. Bears. Oh, bearing fruit. Oh. Yes, like producing fruit. So not bears oh, like you would find in the woods. real bears. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's funny. And so, Toby, do you know who's talking in this verse? John. <laughs> Great answer. Yep. You're, you're right and you're also not right. Um, so John is writing the words of Jesus. Oh, So John's Jesus. the one who wrote them down, but Jesus is the one who said them first. Wow. Yeah. So, so in, John's a copycat. <laughs> Not a copycat. He's an author. He just writes what other people say. Gotcha. Yep. That's what authors do. So in this verse, Jesus is saying it's a picture of himself, of what he's like. I am the vine. You, so talking to all of us, you are the branches. If you remain joined to me and I to you, that's Jesus, you will bear a lot of fruit. John 15, 5. Now, uh, I don't know about you, Toby, but this is kind of confusing. We're going to bear fruit. Yeah. Like, um, I don't see you have any grapes or anything on nope. you. Yeah. Okay. Not this That's kind of weird. So we've actually got a video to jump in and to explain the Bible verse a little bit more. Why don't we go ahead and we're going to watch along with the kids. All right. Watch the video. Bye. <laughs> when Jesus was on earth, he was both fully man and fully God, meaning that he knew everything there ever was or is to know. He wanted to pass on as much information as he could, but much of what Jesus had to share would be difficult for his listeners to understand. To help, Jesus would teach using stories called parables. Other times he would use examples of things that occur in nature. One such instance occurred while Jesus was teaching a group of people while in Jerusalem. Jesus told the crowd, I am the true vine, and my Father is the gardener. Jesus knew that the people in the crowd that day would understand what it takes to plant, grow, and care for a fruit-bearing vine. By using this comparison, Jesus taught the audience how God cares for us. A vine is planted in good soil, watered, and watched carefully to see if anything is needed to help it grow. Branches sprout from the vine. Some grow fruit, others do not. Branches that bear no fruit are cut off and thrown away. These steps help the vine to grow strong, flourish, and bring about lots of beautiful, delicious fruit the people in the crowd that day understood that a seed planted and left alone could grow and maybe even bear fruit. 
but it would not do as well or live as long as one tended to lovingly. Jesus continued by telling the crowd that God is the gardener, Jesus is the vine, and we are the branches. This means that God, the gardener, is our creator and loving caretaker, and Jesus is the vine from which we, the branches, draw life and the ability to grow and bear fruit. The people in the crowd that day understood that a branch not attached to a vine cannot grow or bear fruit. Likewise, Jesus taught that without a connection to him, it is not possible to prosper. Jesus was using this illustration to help us understand that only in him do we find full and abundant life. Jesus made it clear that if a branch is not connected to the vine, it is impossible for that branch to survive. The branch has to be able to receive the vine's life-giving nutrients in order to live. Without drawing on the vine's full power, the branch will get weak, shrivel up, and fail to bear fruit. These sad branches are cut off and thrown away. When we accept Jesus as our Savior and try our best to obey Him, we are like branches connected and fully drawing sweet life from the vine. Living a life connected to Jesus provides us with support, blessing, forgiveness, and the promise of never-ending life in heaven. Jesus longed for his followers to experience a strong connection to him. He explained that the keys to staying connected are love and obedience. Jesus loves us the way his Father loves him. Jesus explained that he shows his Father love by obeying his commands. That means for us to show Jesus that we love him, all we have to do is obey his commands. Obeying Jesus' commands makes him happy, and making Jesus happy will fill us with absolute joy. Our lives become like healthy branches that bear wonderful fruit. To remain connected to Jesus, we must obey his command to love each other the way Jesus loves all of us. Jesus showed his love for us by coming to serve and through sacrifice. We can show each other love like this by helping people and by putting the needs of others before our own. By focusing our attention, effort, and love on others rather than ourselves, our lives bear the good fruit that pleases God. Through this obedience, we show Jesus how very much we love him. As we show our love for Jesus by obeying his command to love others, we begin to discover just how deep his love for us is. Jesus now calls us friends. As friends, our connection to and knowledge of Jesus blossoms and becomes stronger. Our strengthened connection and faith helps us to prosper and bear fruit that will last forever. The friendship with Jesus that has begun in this life will grow and thrive for all eternity. Our connection to him will never end. I hope that video helped you really understand what it means that Jesus is the vine and we are the branches, because that could be a pretty confusing um, little lesson. And that brings me to our big idea. Out of all the things we've talked about, the verse, what do we want to walk away with? And what is it that we believe God wants to teach us today? And that is today's big idea or big so what. So we're going to go ahead and throw that on the screen and I want you to repeat after me on the count of three. Everybody say Jesus. Oh, sorry, let me count first on the count of three. One, two, three. Jesus is the vine so we can grow by staying connected to him. If we want to grow as Christians and we want to really receive all that God has for us, guess what? We have to stay connected to the vine. And the vine is who? 
Hopefully you said Jesus, because we're not going to grow as Christians and we're not going to have and be able to see all the purpose that God has for us if we don't stay connected to him. We have to always be seeking him and always wanting to learn from him. There's a silly song that we don't really sing anymore, uh, at least we don't in CV Kids, but I used to sing this as a kid all the time in my Sunday school, and is read your Bible and pray, at, wait, let me think about it again. If you read your Bible and pray every day and you'll grow, grow, grow. That's a song that we used to sing over and over and over and over to the point where I got so tired of it. But in that silly little song, there's so much truth. If we truly want to grow in our identity in Christ, guess what? We have to read our Bible and we have to pray as much as we can. And guess what? It's really hard to read your Bible and pray every day. I'm an adult and guess what? I forget all the time. There's days that I go two or three days without it and I know that I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do if I don't get back to reading and praying. So if we want to grow and we want to stay the best that we can, we have to stay connected to Jesus. So this week, what I want you to do is we're going to challenge you, okay? This is a challenge. This is going to be really hard. This week, I want you to read your Bible and pray at least three times before next Sunday, okay? Three times. That's not even every day. That's just three times this week. And maybe you already do that. That's awesome. But if you don't, this would be a great time to challenge yourself to reading your Bible and staying connected to Jesus. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for every single boy and girl that is tuning in and watching this. I pray, Lord, that your Holy Spirit would truly guide their minds, guide their hearts to, um, Lord, to want to be close to you and, Lord, to want to seek you. I pray that your Holy Spirit would help us and remind us uh, that we should be reading our Bible and we should be praying every day. But if not, just these three challenge times this week. So help us, remind us, and keep us safe. Lord, we love you, Lord, and we want to give you all the praise and honor. And everybody said, amen. Thanks so much for tuning in to this day's lesson. Uh, Please continue to follow our channel. We have tons of videos that are being released weekly. Thank you so much. (music) 